Thank you for volunteering your time to help the animals in our care. In this video, you'll learn the basics of cat socialization. Wash your hands before you interact with the cats. Use hand sanitizer in between handling the cats to cut down on disease and to keep the smell of another cat off your hands. Cats have very sensitive smell and hearing. Always keep your voice calm and quiet around the cats. Keep your movements slow. Slowly open the cage and watch the cat's reaction. Offer the cat the limp back of your hand first. Start with the head. If the cat is welcoming, you can begin to pet it. Never let a cat on the main floor of the cat room. When there is a litter of cats in a cage, be very careful. When there is more than one, you can easily lose control and have one of them bolt. If a cat should get loose in the cat room, lock the main door immediately so people don't open it and let the cat into the main kennel. If you can't get the cat under control, please call one of the kennel staff. If the cat is okay with being petted, you can pick it up and take it into the cat playroom for extra attention. Give the cat a chance to look around. If they seem unhappy and smell another cat, you may have to put it back in their cage. Please, only one cat out at a time. You may be the first person to be in contact with the cat that day. If you notice the animal has been sick or there's something wrong, perhaps fleas, mats, or a runny eye, notify someone at the kennel staff immediately. In addition to playing with the cats, you can brush them. Approach the cat slowly and talk to them. Only one brush for one cat, please. You can brush them right in their unit. When you're finished, put the brush in the sink in the hallway. If you have a chance, we'd like to have you fill out a trait card on the cat. This is a quick personality profile. Once you get to know the animal, you can check if it's energetic or a lap cat, loves to be petted or played with. This information will help us find just the right adopter for each cat. We need to know immediately if you're scratched or bitten by an animal here at Scraps. Please contact the volunteer coordinator. If she's not here, contact the kennel manager. Help us keep the cats here at Scraps perfectly happy and healthy so we can find them a forever home. 